Welcome to The Good Stuff. I'm Jacob Schick, a third-generation combat Marine. And I'm his co-host and wife, Ashley Schick. We believe everyone has a story to tell, not only about the peaks, but the valleys they've been through to get them to where they are today. We're joined by some amazing guests who share the lessons they've learned that shaped who they are and what they're doing to pay it forward and give back. Listen to The Good Stuff on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. I'm Diosa. And I'm Mala. We are the creators and hosts of Locatora Radio, a radiophonic novella. Which is just a fancy way of saying a, a podcast. podcast. We're two L.A. locals turned full-time podcasters, and we talk about everything. From sexual wellness to pop culture. Internet drama to politics. And everything in between. So if laughter and learning are something that you crave, subscribe to Locatora Radio, your prima's favorite podcast. Listen to Locatora Radio on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcast. Hi, I'm Srira. And I'm Aarti. We have spent the last 20 years building and working at some of the largest companies in the world. We worked with some remarkable people. Rob McElhinney. When I see the people of Wrexham, I grew up exactly like them. Check out the Aarti and Sriram show. That is A-A-R-T-H-I and S-R-I-R-A-M show. Listen to the Aarti and Sriram show on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. The true crime podcast, Sacred Scandal, returns for a second season to investigate alleged sexual abuse at Mexico's La Luz del Mundo megachurch. Journalist Robert Garza explores survivor stories of pure evil experiences at the hands of a self-proclaimed apostle who is now behind bars. I remember as a little girl being groomed to be his concubine. That's how I was raised. It is not wrong if you take your clothes off for the apostle. Listen to Sacred Scandal on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. This is the story of a man who's fascinated me. His name was Sweet Daddy Grace, and that's a name you don't forget. He was a visionary who built a fortune as a black man during Jim Crow, during the Depression. But today, not many people know about him. Erase, sort of wiped out, and I wonder if this was done intentionally. Listen to Sweet Daddy Grace on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. We going, we going already? Shit, we, we already, already live, nigga. We live. We live. We live with it. Okay, we'll switch the pimping up we then to the pimping, because he came in here, he thought he wasn't going to have the freestyle and then with us. I told him Oh, but he, he, oh, he this before I get to the question. Nah, this, yeah. He got to play that, because it, it, fits, it fits the question. Yeah, we about to set it up. <laughs> okay, he got, to play the, he got to play it. Like, before you back, get to it, the good it, shit, just go ahead and say it. Ah, 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 Make sure that the pimping is done. Because he's really getting it. Jalen, Plimson, Plimson, Plimson. I'm in the trap. I'm in the trap for real, too. Let the pimping is Cold water to the head. I'm in the trap. It's like this is our R&B pimp. Right. Uh-huh. You feel me? Okay. We know who we have coming through our yeah. show, so we have a special tailor-made pimping for each and every guest. Ladies, 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 listen. Carlos got something to say. Carlos got something to say? I got a lot of things to yeah. say. Mm-hmm. But before I do the saying them, I'm going to say the things that need to be said like right. a precursor. Right, right. Yeah. Now, the 85 South Show has been voted the number yep. one show amongst yeah. black people mm-hmm. who make yeah. between zero and $85,000 a year. Yeah. You said how much? Zero. To how much? 85000 Now, I don't make up the facts, I just read. <laughs> I think we got a lot of things. I think the track is going to Ooh, yeah. That means zero just means they ain't showing their income. Exactly. I did. All okay. cash. Oh, yeah. It's all cash. Under the table. Pay five. You feel me? Yeah. 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 This show Ooh, yeah. right here has helped multiple black men bounce uh. back yeah. from child support. Yeah. <laughs> Parking tickets, suspended license, probation, parole, warrants, holes, all types of miscommunications, misunderstandings. This is the number three show amongst black men who are stepfathers. 
we only number three because they refuse to make us number one. Okay. okay. Ooh, yeah. ER okay, and like Lord North. Ooh, yeah. Hey. Ooh, yeah. They like that shit. Ooh, yeah. Hey. And we got the R&B niggas on the hook House today. House party in the building. What the fuck you mean? House party Ooh, yeah. in the building. New generation. Come on. You know what I'm saying? They done made a whole new movie. Mm. <laughs> yeah. And ain't nobody said nothing yeah. about it yet. We on the Delta Plains right now. New release. No kidding. I just recorded this. Come on, man. <laughs> I done watched it on yeah, every platform. Yeah, enjoy your up. flight. When you fly, you can be watching us while you fly. Now I feel going like I gotta say this because I know y'all. Uh -huh. I bought the movie for $20 on the shit that pop up on the TV. <laughs> <laughs> I own it. Hey, you bought it. That's oh, love. Yeah. I rented it. That's love. Well, you own it if you pay $20. And I watched it. I watched it on the plane, too. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, you, you got 24 hours of money. Exactly. $22. You can't own some shit that's digital. I know, they can take it at any moment. It's a tangible item, right? I'm a forgotten password away from not having none of this shit. You don't shit. pay your cable? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Hey, give me back all that. Yeah, all my movies that I done bought on cable. Right here. So like if they cut your cable off, you can't watch this shit anyway. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, what would you, like... Subscriptions. How many subscriptions y'all got? Right now? Everything goes. All of them. Sometimes I just agree to shit. I don't know for what real, I'm paying I'm just for. like purchase. I'm paying for all the I don't know if I paid Man, that twenty dollars one to time or every Y'all bullshit. I just really did a whole financial breakdown. For real. I'm getting rid of that. This, this. I'm only keeping all the you free shit. Tubi, Roku channel. <laughs> you got an app? Who? You got an app to see like uh, the breaking down? I see my bank statement. Tubi free, yeah. Roku TV yeah. free. All you gotta do is, and if you don't buy Roku TV, you gotta keep the channel you 85. Forty nine, ninety nine. Roku that you can hook up to. You your gotta TV. keep the channel 85 app. Bro. That's the only app I got. Okay. Channel 85. App. Channel 85. That's the only one. I mean, if you got the app, you got the app. I'm talking know. like you paying for it. YouTube TV ain't hey, bad. If they threw us a check, we'd be you know this people to get YouTube TV because that shit only like. Get everything. Good. Well, they ain't, deal, they ain't do it yet, though. YouTube TV get what? I was just saying, hypothetically, YouTube wanted more people to get YouTube TV than they should. Yeah, give us but, but see, this is the thing I don't like with YouTube TV. TV. Yeah, yeah. I got YouTube TV, but they don't let you watch a lot of YouTube shit. No, it's no YouTube shit. Like, what? Like, what you mean? Nigga, I want YouTube plus the TV shit. No, no, you gotta go YouTube. You gotta YouTube go YouTube to watch YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on YouTube TV trying to watch Battle Rap. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. <laughs> you, no. you watch the TV. That's too different. Search <laughs> not found. I'm like, this is bullshit. You try oh, to watch oh, the match. Before we get into let me let me wrap this up. You see how we just was going off and we ain't even get to say what needed to be said? Ooh, yeah. So before we do that, we gotta say, welcome back to the 85 South. Come on, man. Yeah. Yes, indeed. On, man. Yes, indeed. Come on, man. I feel, like, yeah. I feel like I'm in Milwaukee right now with, you know what I'm saying, my uncles, my pops. That's why you family. got a sweat on. I'm your yeah. uncle. I'm your uncle. You feel no, like I'm you're just in saying, Milwaukee. Like the like, you didn't say cousins. You just said with my uncles. I right. mean, I kick it with the, I kick it with my uncles. That's all. He was, he was talking about That's me. He, you his cousin. Right. Yeah, he was just yeah, talking about yeah. it. Yeah. I mean, I know what well, he related in real life, but that don't mean like, he can relate I feel like I'm in, you know, like, yeah, this is the trap. This ain't his cousin kick it back. This is uncle kick it back. I, I yeah. feel I'm, I'm an old, I'm one of his uncle. I was two when he was born, but I'm still an uncle. <laughs> but you you are like, I am. you like the youngest uncle. I'm a great uncle. Great uncle. <laughs> Well, we gotta introduce our guest. Come on, man. Because everybody's uncles today. His, yes, un his uncle cookout vibes uh -oh. over here. Come on, man. Look at my son. You know this nigga on another level, bro. Yeah, he wear a sweater in the middle of the I summer the with a white beater on. I thought the studio would be cold, y'all. Look, I mean, you feel me? With a white beater on. That's yeah. how you know like, young nigga is not playing. Because TV ain't got no temperature. Fuck exactly. But it he is not nice playing. If it's hot, you know what I'm talking about? I'm in the trap. You in full R&B mode today, bro. Right now. Right now. Right now with it. You know what I mean? For real, Lil Waters, Cardigans, right. White Beats. Lil Waters, Cardigans. Man, this ain't y'all friends. Lil Waters. This ain't y'all friends. Cardigans. <laughs> no cap. My man's in them. Who that? Movie star. Oh, wow. R&B singer. Yeah. TV oh, star. Yeah. Multi hyphen it. We talked about they this talk earlier. This nigga gonna sing your bitch draws off. And he can skate too. <laughs> what? Ooh, yeah. 
Yeah. I can't skate like I can't skate like DC though. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I teach you, my You're crazy. It's a roll bounce thing. Him and DC yeah. did a movie my together. Body be going Come cool, on, man. man. Come on, man. With my dog, man. Yeah, it sounds like they had some major movies back in the day. We did. Like, we all got deals. We all both. did. Yeah, so the house party movie wasn't the first time they had a house party. No, no, no sir. Man, it should have been a movie called The Skate Party. Oh well, shit. Well, shit. Without further ado, literally we could introduce this nigga all day. Without further ado, none other than Jacob Lattimore is in the trap. Today, we only bring it ghetto legends through the trap. I told him when you got here, Flat. We yeah. only bring people on the show that we gonna have on the yeah, album. Legend. Like if that. we wouldn't have you on the album, you can't come on here. Can I be? I mean, you can't. You will be on the album. Yeah, featuring featuring Jay. Yeah, like I love that. Yeah, it'll be you and DC on there, and y'all be serenading. Yeah. And then I'm gonna come in and be the unapologetic, apologetic nigga. <laughs> we bring it back 90s R&B. I'm yeah, gonna yeah. come in and be like, yeah, seeing you with a dude. Oh, you gonna do the d yeah. talk? Ooh. I wasn't tripping about nothing, because as wrong as you were, I was wronger. Oh, man. As wrong as you were, I was wronger. I like that. You feel me? I like that. You play that? Yeah, yeah, you bitch got to get it. Yeah, right? yeah. Because yeah. even though you was dead ass wrong, I was wronger. Yeah. Ooh. Believing, believing in you in the first place. Uh -huh. For believing in us, for believing in me, for the things that I believed. Now, if you walk out that door one more time, that's the last time. But we said that the last time that it wouldn't be no more last times. <laughs> How many more last times? So baby girl, if you just gonna keep leaving, I'm gonna go too. I'm gonna go and that too. way, when you come back, the next time it won't be nothing to come back to. Okay. Ooh. I feel like that was a breakup from yeah, the Yeah, you feel me? It's not it's you feel me? Like, like, I was like, 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 I'm gonna leave. But once we right break there. up this time, we yeah. broke it. It's over with. Come on now. Come on, it's live right there. Yeah. Went crazy. Who we got in the building? We got Clayton English in the building. That's what we got. That's right. We got J O N in the building. Yeah, J O N in the building. We got the uh, 85 South Show production crew in the building. Ooh, that's Full effect. That's what Blake we got. Crate Pro is in the building. Full effect, right? Come on, yeah. man. We got hey. Debo and them over there. Come on now. Uh, we, uh, you already know we got Robin over there, and I made her sit down because she be falling there. Bro. <laughs> she done fell at all, all. That's how you know the show good. If she fall, she fall all the time. Oh, Take man. a picture. We got crazy ass <laughs> Joe. We had to put Joe back in the back because people was requesting that lab. The show wasn't hitting right. the same and shit. Need to without that hey, lab studio and shit. Fire, man. Come on, man. Hell, I, yeah. I walk through every show, the studio room in there. The Make up, nigga. We ain't done some introduction. My bad, my bad. Your introduction's bad. still going okay, on. Okay, all this part of it. Okay, for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. for sure. Yeah. I'm, I'm following that. This the young guy in <laughs> Hollywood, man. Young Jacob is in here Come with on, us today, yeah. man. Let's go, man. Yeah. Let's go. Young Jacob. Yeah. Jacob Lattimo. The old ah. people. The old people say Lattimo. Lattimo. Hold yeah. on, you got to break it down. Now, you, you come from a, 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 a line of great. Yeah. Lattimo. The Lattimo. Yeah, man. That folk know oh, you how you want to use Lattimo? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, that Lattimo boy. Yeah, that boy come down. That boy Lattimo. Yeah. 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 I know your uh, are. Yeah, I know your are. Uh, I know your are. Uh, uh, me and your pop, you yeah. the man, man. Yeah. I heard you like this. Who won them Lattimo? They went for you to call them out. You I know that. You got this big, and then you got that big on me. I be like, what? OK, OK, for sure, man. Um. Yeah, music in the family, man. Kenny Lattimore. Talk it. My dad, my uncles, uh, they were originally an R&B group, Jersey Ave, then the Lattimore brothers yeah. went to gospel, you know what I mean? And just did their thing, man. I think the, the music industry was was definitely tough for them coming into the game. So when I when I was young, I used to see pu limousines pulling up in front of the house in the hood in Milwaukee. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's like pictures of me in the back seat with them, and you know they going to L.A. and coming back and just like. It was crazy. They, uh, Randy Jackson had signed them. I think that was like. You talking about Randy? Randy, Randy Jackson. Randy from Jackson. Jackson. No, no, yeah. Randy Jackson no, from American, American Idol. Idol. American okay, Idol. Yeah. Oh, nigga. I'm tripping, I'm tripping. You talking about what up, dog? Yeah, what up, dog? Yeah. First, 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 first of all, I don't think Randy was dancing like that. Nigga, <laughs> 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 I'm like, 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 and I was like, oh, Pops really know Randy. So you bring it down saying? to Randy Jackson? Yeah. 
Yeah, then they. No, he a big, he, no, he was a like producer, he, he played head, right? instruments, yeah, he cold, okay. yeah. Yeah, so, um. He ain't just, we, yeah. we know him from the idol shit, but yeah. he, he, he put that work deep. Yeah, okay, man. And then, like, if you, you can actually look up the uh, Jersey Ave. My, my pops and my uncles, they had an R&B album. That was when they were signed to him, and, uh. They put out an album, man. It was dope. It's just, you know, you go through the label stuff, you get discouraged. The music right. industry has always been tough, you know what I mean? So and then I, I came up and I was seeing them doing their things. I used to get on stage and they used to pull me off like, come on, Lil' Jay, you can't, you can't do that. Then after a while, my uncle was like, man, let him, let him get up there. Let him get up there. Let him get up there. Let the young brother sing. You know what I'm saying? Let him get up there. 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 Yeah. Yeah, and then they just, they just started kind of molding me and seeing, seeing something in me. So I just, by the time I got nine years old, my pops put me in the studio and uh, he was, you know, writing all the songs for me. My first song is called Best Friend. Uh -huh. You were my best friend. Thought you'd always be my best friend. And I, man, I sing just to all the girls at the at recess. Go crazy. I had my t-shirt on. Ah! I was ready. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, lady, yeah, I, you know, I do my own music. And at nine? It. At nine. Well, child style, so but wait, 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 wait. this nigga. We gotta go back a second. You said you was running out there on stage. So yeah. you were just running out there. I was getting like, up. While I was, they was performing. Yeah. You was just, just trying to. Just cause, get cause out you there. was already singing, I'm sure, off stage yeah. and shit. So yeah. you was just going out there trying to and sing. And I would cry if they take me off. I would cry. They be like, they be like, yo. So you went to your uncle and your pops up there handling their business, and you just like, <laughs> fuck that. Can <laughs> yeah. you imagine being on stage? You like, yeah. are there any ladies in the house? <laughs> What? Damn son. <laughs> <laughs> he got his own mic. So what would you do? He was just you, but you do the routine. I just go up there and just dance. I just wanted to get the mic. I just wanted to just be on stage. Ain't have security? Nah. Why you gonna stop? How you gonna stop the sun? He probably like, hey, bro, get your hands off me. I'm a ladder man. <laughs> <laughs> Swear. So you see that more? You see that more? Uh, Polish uh, clip. Jacob is ten, but the buzz is that he's going to be the next usher. It's because the boys think he's cool, the girls think he's dreamy, and we think he's going to be a huge star. Watch. What's up? This is your boy, Jacob Lattimore. I'm 10 years old, and I'm an R&B artist. I have become so famous, especially at school. Hey! <laughs> yes! Yo, like, that, that energy was, like, what I was trying to get off. You know what I'm saying? And then... They just started letting me. Hold up, you was on more? Yeah, I was on more when I was a kid. Was it your baby? Nah. Oh, oh. Were you the baby? Nah. Oh. This is. Nah, I'm like. It comes to eight month old Jacob Lattimore. Nah, there's uh, basically, more used to bring young, young kids to perform and like just, they used to do covers. I had my own original song though. So I came on there from Big Milwaukee. Stunt. You know That's what I'm saying? Stunt. Stunt. Yeah. Stunt no more, eh? I had my dancers with me. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? And, and we were just. Now we, we gotta hungry. find that clip and drop it in here, man. Swear, somebody man. find that clip. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we I came out there crumb dancing. About to find the clip and put it in Crazy. the episode. Find the clip, Dad. My name's Laverne Cox. I'm an actress, producer, fashionista, and host of The Laverne Cox Show. You may remember my award winning first season. I've been pretty busy, but there's always time to talk to incredible guests about important things. People like me have been screaming for years, we gotta watch the Supreme Court. What they're doing is wrong. What they're doing is evil. They will take things away. And I can only hope that Dobbs is that, like, Pearl Harbor moment. Girl, you and I both know what it took to just get through the day in New York City and get home in one piece. And so the fact that we're here and what you've achieved and what I've achieved, you know, that's momentous. It's not just us sitting around complaining about some bills. The only reason that you might think, as Chase said, that we're always miserable is because people are constantly attacking us and we're constantly noticing it. Listen to The Laverne Cox Show on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcast, or wherever you get your podcast. Be sure to subscribe and share. I'm Larsa Pippen from The Real Housewives of Miami. I'm Marcus Jordan, CEO of Trophy Room. We decided to launch this podcast, Separation Anxiety. We can't live without each other. We can't. <laughs> and I think we go through separation anxiety when we're not together. We kind of want to share our stories. We're going to talk about everything and be brutally honest as far as relationships, whether it's your boyfriend, kids, even at work. There's no subject that we won't tackle on this podcast. I'm telling you everything. Listen to Separation Anxiety with Larsa and Marcus on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Hi, I'm Dahlia Wild. 
and I want to invite you to listen to my newest podcast. We are stardust in the sense that the atoms that make up our bodies have already existed in two stars. It's called the Oh My God Particle Show, or OMGPS for short. Are you like me, always wondering about the universe? Like what the universe is made of? What is in the atmospheres of alien planets? And, you know, how are we even here to even ask those questions? So, road trip. I wanted to get some answers directly from researchers at the Large Hadron Collider. We're colliding particles with energies that naturally existed when the universe was about a trillionth of a second old. I found scientists from all over the world. Everybody is working together to get their experiment working. I got to talk to brilliant astrophysicists who collaborated with Brian May, the guitarist from Queen. Listen to the Oh My God Particle Show on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Hello and welcome to Bad Manners. This is the podcast that takes you inside Britain's stately homes and tells all the tales the guidebooks don't. My name is Tom Horton and I'll be your host. Britain is riddled with big houses from crumbling castles, massive mansions and stately piles bigger than Buckingham Palace. As a comedian, I'm not really bothered about the facts and figures. I just want the juicy stuff. So I'm on a mission to find out the frightening, filthy and downright jaw-dropping stories of these stately homes and the people in them. This podcast ventures deep inside some of Britain's most incredible and outrageous buildings to spill the tea on the scandalous, scary, shocking and hilarious tales. So if you want to get historically horrid, royally raucous and downtown dirty. Look no further. Listen to Bad Manners on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. How Rude Tanneritos is the Full House Rewatch podcast you've been waiting for. Each week, get together with iconic characters Stephanie Tanner and Kimmy Gibbler, also known as actresses Jodie Sweetin and Andrea Barber, as they team up to relive every episode of your favorite Friday night comfort show. We spent our entire childhoods on a little show called Full House, playing frenemies, but becoming besties whenever the cameras weren't rolling. And now, 35 years later, it's our biggest adventure yet. Get ready for Jodie and Andrea to tell all as they take an in-depth look back at life in and around the Tanner home from the very, very very beginning. So if you think you know everything there is to know about Full House, how rude. We'll be reliving every moment with you and we'll be joined by our Full House family including all your favorites from 192 episodes. We'll reveal the hidden treasures you may have missed within the show and we'll take a trip down memory lane together. Listen to How Rude Tanneritos on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. So that's how it all started. Yeah, man. Because you know we go way back from Performing, grinding, and skating, skate time day. Like, yeah. you was a. Talk about that, man. Because he a child star. Yeah. See, niggas flex. Like, it ain't too many child stars. Oh, yeah. I was growing up, when your name would come about, it was like, oh shit. Mm-hmm. When we even had our name attached to your name on the fly, yeah. I knew, I said, told my partner, nigga, we made it. Even all my partner from the hood, like, nigga, we on the motherfucking fly with Jacob Ladder, man. That's hard. That shit was super hard. Nah, no, so that's just, crazy. Coming from being like a child star, how did you mold your way, like, even just still being a kid and, and having a start? Man, bro, really just being around y'all, bro, for real. Like, that was my social. You know, like, when I moved to Atlanta, I was homeschooled. You know, so I wasn't going to school every day. You know what I mean? So I was work, and then I wanted to go to the skating rink on weekends, cascade, you feel me? I wanted to go get dances on girls and skate or whatever. So it was like, I had to, I know that I just had to have that social kind of, I didn't want to be weird. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want to be like anti-social, you feel me? So I think it it was a managing like, okay, where where I'm at in my life and where I see myself going, but also still maintaining that friendships and, and, and also I, coming to Atlanta was I saw a community of other people, other young young guys stri- striving for something. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? To be a part of that community was like, was huge for me. Seeing you, Jacquees, and, and then like just this community of just rappers, singers, actors, you know, made me want to get into acting even more because I wasn't thinking about it at first. Right. You know what I'm saying? I was like, nah, I'm going to do this music first, you know, right. and do that and then, uh, it just, I just got inspired, bro. I, like, I just got inspired by entertainment overall. Right, right. So it just can't place you in the box. Yeah, yeah. So when did that, so you say like you just inspired you to do acting. When did you know, you were like, you know what, I gotta take acting serious. Cause being yeah. an artist, 
trying to act. Yeah. Do all of it at the same time. Cause now you busy. You can shoot shot for eight months. You're right. Ain't no way in hell you can be a music star. Right. But you can. You can. But you trying to yeah. capitalize and make sure that you prioritize correctly. Right. But master the craft at the same time. Yeah, I think it's it's also just like knowing my fa- knowing my music audience as an independent artist, right? So it's like I think where I'm at with music, it's not really about selling a million copies. All right, so if I got this many fans, how can I capitalize on that? You know what I mean? And I think that's just how I'm thinking right now. Like everything financially got to make sense for me on the music end. And if I'm going to do it, it's got to make sense, you know, because I spent a lot of money. I spent a lot of money, dog. Like music videos and going on tour. Back. You know what I mean? You hear me just screaming fans and a couple of t-shirts. So you're like, all right. And then you're like, I got to get this film back. You know what I'm saying? So it's um, it's a balance, man. So I think it's a, it's a cool place I'm in where I could drop drop a visual. I just dropped a, a song called Selfish like six months ago. Right. And I just was able to put, you know, some creative thought into it, put out a song that's dope with a dope visual, and just get back to the acting shit. It ain't really like I'm trying to do anything. It's like if you see it, you see it. You, you know what I'm saying? I'm just doing my thing and kind of falling in love with the with the process again. Right. You know what I mean? I think that's like, that's the best feeling. You know, where you don't feel like you gotta. You ain't doing nothing You're not extra. Doing for the money. You're not yeah. doing it for the money. Yeah, it don't yeah. feel like work. Yeah, right. yeah, just like, I'm just having fun. I shot this video. Check it out. You yeah. know what I mean? And I, I think a lot of, it's, it's with Emmett and the shot, it's crazy because a lot of people didn't even know I did music. Mm. You know, they like, look at Emmett dancing. What the hell? <laughs> you know what I mean? Coming from somebody who did music before he even did <laughs> yeah. the shot. It's crazy. It's, oh, he did, right. nah. Yeah. It's crazy. But you know, that's how the journey go. People notice you from different things. Right. And then they see you doing what you might have started doing. Right. Like, oh, wait a minute, yeah. It's a gift. It's right. a gift. It's a gift. Like, I don't I don't even think it's a curse. Like, it's like, it's a, it's a true gift because now I get to re, rebrand myself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just yeah. redefine who I am. And, and you constantly, and constantly got new people discovering you. Yep. Yeah. Constantly growing. Now it's like, you know, if you know my, if you know me from my music or if you know me from my film, it's it's a win. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like at least they know you. You feel me? Yeah. And when I got my business hat on, I ain't got my sensitive artist hat on because you know some people be like, man, I want people to know me for this. Right. You know what I'm saying? But it's more so like whatever you know me from is that's it's, it's, it's whatever. You, know what? you know, as long yeah, as it's, it's, it's a win, it's yeah. a win. You know what I mean? It's 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 always it's coming back to me. You feel me? So it's it's dope. Right. You know yeah. what I mean? And like if they gonna follow me on. Instagram or threads, wherever we on right now, it's like they gonna see that I do other things. So it's like now I, I've created my own channel, created my own sort of, you know, I just, I'm in control. It's a good vibe. Yeah, that's dope as hell vibe, to be man. in control, man. Yeah, you know Creative. what I mean? Like y'all in control, you know what I mean? I had to pull up. You know, you know, it's us. It's us. It was us. Yeah, you know I mean? You was in the house and we, we pulled up. We were like, yeah, oh, okay, my Come bad. Come on now. Come on. You feel me? So what's the process? Because you know you're active. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're an artist, you feel me? And the preparation mm-hmm. for both of them is different. Right. Especially when you're attacking the task properly. So, you gotta answer this too. You know. Uh, yeah. but, but, but it's you fun know. hearing it from your, your colleagues, because it's like, you know, I, like he said, like he's acting, but I've been knowing Jacob for music, and to hear people be like, oh, he did music. I'm like, this nigga's a hell of a single nigga like mm-hmm. he. He could be up there with the ushers in them, but it's like, y'all want to put us in a box. But I, I love to hear him say, mm-hmm. I'm not stretching the goal or make a platinum hit. The, the people going to make it platinum. I'm just yeah. giving them, I'm entertaining. Yeah, yeah. I just like it. And when yeah. you say the love, the process, yeah. fall in love with the process, I think that's why I Because it, it really come through in the, it come through the, through the content. You right. know what I mean? You can tell when you feel like you on set or you on a music video set, you like, you trying to make a hit, you trying, you feel me? That's not a good feeling, you right. know what I mean? It's not fulfilling at all. You don't walk away feeling good. Right. You know, it's like, I'd rather walk away feeling like, yeah, I did that, you know what I'm <laughs> saying? Like, shit in that yeah, 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 if you catch it, you gonna be like, right. damn. That motherfucker right. hard. Yeah. So, hard. So what's the process of making sure you attack the role, right. and making sure you go in here, and like you said, you're not, you're not the, the actor, Jacob. You're not the artist, Jacob. It's a difference. Yeah, what's the yeah. switch? I, we, yeah. I need to know the process. Man, it's, um, I think it's, it's, been, it's been tough. It's been tough to kind of balance. I think for, especially depending on the role, mm-hmm. like especially, um, this is film I did called, called Gully. Right. That's on uh, Prime. And it was one of them roles that just took, took everything up out of me. You feel me? Like it took... I had to isolate, you know, I had to be by myself. Like it was, wow. it was a very, it was just 
it was just wasn't me at all. Mm, you know, okay. with the shot, I can kind of put me into it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Go on and be myself a little bit. So it was challenging a little bit. Yeah, but this one was like super method. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like just tweaking out. My homie was like, bro, I can't wait till this movie over, nigga. You acting, you acting different. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So mm. um, I think Dance and Idris was just talking about that. Talking mm -hmm. about how he had to get out of it. Yeah, right, you know what right, I mean? Right. And that's real. I relate to that. You know what I mean? And that's why I was like, man, I, I don't want to do too many crazy roles in my career. I definitely want to give them give that, mm -hmm. but not too much because it really, it take up your personal life. When you accepted it, you feel me? It was you like, all right, this is a role I want to see, can I do? Yeah. And then when you got into it, you was like, ooh, yeah. shit. No doubt. This so you took it like as a challenge and yep. then realized how much that shit took out you. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, okay, this is because I, I didn't I didn't think about it beforehand, or, you know, because I had never never done it before. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So when you get into it and the in the movie over, you start feeling that that same energy on you, you feel more aggressive, like you're talking a little different. Mm -hmm, you're like, mm -hmm. hold up, nah, like this ain't even this ain't even me. Mm -hmm. You ever got call grandpa? I mean, if you ever put the blessed oil on right. you, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> swear, yeah. swear, like, oh man. So it's um, it, it consumes you. I think the shift, the shift been hard. It's been tough because I've, I've turned down touring opportunities because it's like I'm wearing at, at, at age 26, I'm wearing like a business hat and I'm wearing like the artistry hat mm -hmm. and the passion hat. Like die for the, you die for the the, the art type mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. hat, right? But then it's like, man, I'm a man, I gotta pay bills. You know, I got, I got homes, I got properties, you know, these things can't pay for themselves, you feel me? So it's a, it becomes a thing yes, of like, yes, yes. <laughs> I'm grown, I gotta do what makes sense, you know what I mean? Grown I, man business. Yeah, I, I, gotta, I gotta set my priorities straight and also still make room for the things I love to do, which is music. You know, so just I try to, I try to, I try to give my fans as much as I can, but I, I, I've also, just been in a different bag, man. You know what I mean? Like, cause I got so much. I got, you feel me? I got so much content out there. I put out three albums um, called Connection, Connection One, Two, and Three, and um, the third album I re-released Connection One and Two with the third, mm -hmm. just to reintroduce the last two. People thought I dropped. 40 new songs, right. but I'm like, nah, like, we just manipulated the streams and now yeah. everything, you feel me? Yeah. So, and, and then people are like, oh, I didn't even know you do music. And then I drop visuals with everything. It's like, it's a it's a vibe, you know? And then, my bad. That's my, that's the real estate dude calling right there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Talking right on yeah. up. Yeah. Speaking of which yeah. bills are called. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No cap. yeah, man, so it's, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's been a cool journey, but I'm, I'm still on in the, in, the, in the beginning, I think, once I really get in this film bag, I can do whatever I want. Right. You know what I mean? Now, like, see, speaking, of, speaking of bag, because yeah. you in your bag. Mm -hmm. Like, and you... I'm inspired. Because <laughs> when you in your bag, you one of them dudes that can't let knock you off your pivot. Mm -hmm. You understand? And for those who know, they know. Yep. And for those who seen, they seen. Mm -hmm. How do you keep your composure when they... I see them try to attack you mm -hmm. and try to... <laughs> Make me jump out of character. You did not move now time. Mama. Peace be still. Peace be still. Stay right there. And to continue scribing, how did you continue to make sure I'm not going to get distracted? Man, you know, it's just, you got to do what you got to do. Turn that phone off. Mm -hmm. Lock in. Um, actually, I did start therapy this year. I did start therapy this okay. year. It was, um, it was good for me. I think it was a lot I had to unpack. I think uh, I was... Stuff I didn't even know, you know? And then it was it was cool to just kind of learn yeah. yourself. I think, you know, we we, we so in outside and entertaining people, you like you really gotta have them talk with yourself and really talk to a stranger sometimes. I think that's been cool for me. And um it's just I got a praying family, man. I got a praying family, super spiritual. And I've I've, I've learned not to ignore my gut. You know what I mean? Right. When you like, when you when you know it. You know it. You know it. You know it. You, you know, know it. You tell you. You know what I'm saying? You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> you know it. So it's like, <clears throat> what's what's gonna happen? It's gonna happen. Who's gonna be there? Gonna be there. And if they left, they left. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm gonna go to therapy reason. too. It's a good vibe. I ain't going to no therapy. No, I'm, I'm gonna wait till I'm finished doing what I'm doing. But I mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say it's for everybody. But it's like, 
I ain't finished being crazy I yet. I got some more shit to do. I'm gonna go shit. Do. I got some more shit to do in this okay. state of mind. <laughs> then I'm gonna go. I got a few more things yeah, I gotta fix. Ain't trying to unlock that. No, nah, I don't want them. Hey, I need to stay fucked up for a little bit longer. Cause what I'm trying to do is gonna be require me contact, to be a fucking savage. Away. You, you, you good? Yeah. I'm good. You good? I can't talk to no therapist. I end up fucking around and turn to their therapist. No, you ask me all the questions. You all right? Yeah. I'm your six motherfucker that you talk to today. What? Bitch, are you okay? <laughs> you ain't even gotta ask nothing that hard. It's just gonna be the yeah. simplest question. And they're gonna break down. Did you eat there? I can't eat. I can't. I can't. <laughs> Everybody eat me with me. I'm like, you be a problem. Yo. Nobody had never asked me that. I'm like, you know what? You need to find this bitch. This bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she going through it. <laughs> Right. What? what if you go see your therapist and they late because they going to see their therapist? Damn. Do that's therapists not, not see good, therapists? That's not a good thing. Exactly. I told my that's therapist some thing. shit. She said, I never heard that before. I hung up. <laughs> he was, was on a Zoom. Zoom call. It was a Zoom call. I just closed my shit. I said, bitch, I said. How, how the can she feel energy through a computer? I wasn't going in, uh, first of all. Why? <laughs> so you 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 trying to therapy, at, but you, you're in the house? Yeah, right. <laughs> What if, you got, no what if you in therapy, but you got anxiety? Like, you can do the Zoom call, you just can't be in the camera. This nigga is like on trial therapy. <laughs> you trying to like you're telling I, all your deepest, darkest secrets, but you can't be in that little box saying it. That's right. Hold on, I'm about to tell you, you something. Do the house. You can't do therapy out there. They go against it. You gotta touch you. I'm still in my comfort zone. You gotta get out your comfort zone to go talk to somebody. Yeah. You know? I mean, I do my own zone. You do your own zone too? I do my zone, yeah. What if somebody in the room and they like, I got a couch. This is what this I need to go sit on your couch. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I this nigga suck out. Dude, this nigga suck out. This nigga suck out. This nigga suck out. Like, ah, oh, damn. <laughs> Like, what? He thought they muted it. I heard everything. And listen to the bitch ass nigga. <laughs> so you said that, uh, you was. <laughs> you hear people in the background? Whole, That's the dude be room. crying over his girl. <laughs> oh, my bad. My bad. No, I'm it. <laughs> the ones I done did didn't, didn't help, though. For real. Sometimes you be like, all right. That's I just, that means y'all just need to talk to people. That don't mean you need to talk to a no, therapist. No, no, you can't yeah. talk to people. Did no, you cry? Fuck no. Oh, it yeah. didn't work. So what's the difference between a the therapist and a person? All right, first I of all, mean, if you I talk think... to somebody you know, <laughs> what's going to happen is they're going to start telling you their problems. <laughs> oh, man, that same shit happened to me. Right. Yeah, yeah. Fuck up, man. Why right. didn't tell you what happened to me? Right. What did you do? I just went through it. Then shut the fuck up. Right. 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 But you know, when you tell somebody, they already got their idea of the shit you be doing and, and I think hit, you know what I'm saying? About, like, I mean, I, I think I lucked up, for real, because when I when I tell people that, they like, nah, I ain't, I ain't have a good experience. But I, I'm having a great experience, you know what I'm saying? You so gotta wanna be you there, gotta, too. You gotta yeah. wanna be there. You a nigga who don't like venting and just venting and was like, who that feels so good? <laughs> <laughs> you just wanna go, you like, I got some shit to tell you. I feel like I'm venting, maybe I, maybe I don't. <laughs> You know, there's a lot of stuff I didn't vent about. You know, I was like, okay, I'm like, yeah, it's a... And be like that. See, yeah. with me, we hold a lot of shit in. Yeah. Then we have a conversation <laughs> with our significant other. Niggas but we don't tell her everything. A nigga will tell a therapist Niggas forget the green. Niggas right. get mad at And lay with the girl and be like, yeah, I don't like that. No, you didn't. You just cried to your therapist, my nigga. <laughs> right, now, I'm so cool. fucked it up. Cool. It's, it's cool. going to take me a couple times just to even get through a session because I know I'm going to end up arguing with the fucking therapist. For real? <laughs> the fuck do you know? You ain't never been me. <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> I can't do it because I don't like being interrogated. Like, hold on, Carlos, calm down. Yeah, fuck all that. Hold on, shit. Your ass ain't listening. Oh, uh, no, the crazy part is they don't say nothing. They just look at you? You look at me and you write down, bitch, I'm going to flip your notebook. Yeah. Talk to I me. Mean, you say, after, after you say, some say shit. something. Did bitch. you pay for it? Then, then they hit you with this shit. So why do you think that happened? <laughs> so where do you think that came from? Life, bitch. <laughs> no. I can't talk to no therapist. Fuckers wouldn't, yeah. I can't do it. I can't do it. I got a real problem. That's why, that's why I thank God that he surrounded me with like great right. genuine people. Yeah, yeah. Like, I knew mm -hmm. for a fact it's certain people that I could call where I'm like, all right. Right. They gonna be a listen ear. Nah, they ain't nothing. They might not have shit to say. Right. But they gonna sit there and be yeah, like, they gonna shit. Hold you accountable. They gonna yeah, they gonna hold them. me accountable. They gonna yeah. be like, well, shit. They're gonna really just sit there and tell me, like, fly. That's the real. Shit, you know what time it is, bro. Like, yeah. shit. I ain't the nigga that's gonna kiss your ass. Right, Cause right. who you is and what you done right, done right. for me. Yeah, yeah. I'ma sit here and tell you like, nigga, right. shit, I'm here with you through whatever process you think is needed, but don't trip. Right, right. 
Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, just yeah. don't trip. Exactly. You got to take it day for day. Yeah. Like, I knew exactly who I need to call. Like, it, it, I can't yeah. talk to no screen. Nigga, bro. that shit don't like, work on me no I more. Feel like, that's why I don't think it's fair. Niggas just telling you shit. Keep your head up, nigga. <laughs> Chin up, nigga. Yeah. Keep going. Shut the fuck up, man. Right. That's, that's not all niggas trying to say. Listen. I'm going to be one of them generic ass shit. If you get mad at me for telling you keep your chin up, I'm like, well, you need a therapy, bitch. <laughs> See? 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 Told you. See? Swear. Cause he gonna do it and get your old pussy ass a hook. That no, what you want. Oh, you think that's the problem? Soon My chin been down, nigga. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Soon as you get it. Pull yourself up by your bootstrap. What? Fucking bootstrap! <laughs> My strap, I lose your handles out! Yo, Mike, nigga. <laughs> Too hot to be wearing goddamn boots. <laughs> Damn! Tie your long fucking shoes. I just feel like niggas be wanting to hug and don't even know how to say it. Well, That's all it is. A nigga just sit there and you be like, You know what's wrong with most niggas? You're like, you need a hug, don't you? You're gonna be like, See? You need a hug? The moment you do like that, you're gonna be like, That's what's wrong with you. He's gonna lean in your hand. Yeah! Hey, but then you got them crazy niggas that you give them a hug and they be like, Get your hand up! Like, damn. That's what's wrong with niggas. Niggas just miss their grandma. That's it. Miss their grandma. That's it. Yeah, I can't hear you, man. What do you want me to do? What do you want, nigga? What do you want me to do? All this shit that happened and the therapist still on the phone, just sitting there like this. He's sitting there like this. He's sitting there like, it's good. Let that out. Let that out. Let it out, my nigga. Let it out. That's good. Let it out. But see, that's the therapy, though. Niggas do need a hug. Every nigga miss their grandma. That's the therapy, though. Oh, man. Ain't nothing but stress that's just trying to release. I'm going to start a business, right? I'm going to have a big ass truckload of grandma. We just gonna be pulling up on motherfuckers. Like dog, you good? You good? That nigga crazy. You say, you say, he done turned on you. You're a part of the problem. You're a part of the problem. It's cause of you. you. Get your motherfucking hands off of me. If a like, nigga look up like this. Oh, it's a wrap. I'm out of there. You're like, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm all right. Oh, God. My nigga, go to church. Come on, man. You need to get baptized again. You're going to get baptized. That was the craziest Again. Again. You know who the craziest people? Who? People who cry and don't wipe their nose. Mm. (laughs) Viola Davis, Viola. Oh, man. That's hilarious. You need an Oscar just for that. Yeah, she went crazy. I don't know how you summon snot. Nah, they must. They to I know I can get bubbles, bubbles. Like, No, they don't. Nah, I know. They got fake snot bubbles. <laughs> they got no, fake, that's her snot. They, like, they got no, fake tears. They, <laughs> they got fake tears, but I ain't seen no fake tears. She stayed a little sick. <laughs> she had a little cold. And she was like, you need some more? She was like, uh, I got to see you tomorrow. <laughs> I, got, I need the mucus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to save the snot. Once you <laughs> <laughs> she blew it out and put it in a cup. <laughs> hey, like, I'm going I'm to get an Oscar. That's the Oscar juice. Hey, right where was this snot? I put it in the fridge right now. I have some snot. <laughs> y'all are fucked up. Man. This is <laughs> dumb, bro. <laughs> Reminding y'all. But constantly. I do think like everybody needs to just vent. Vent. When need, I say vent, you need to vent like, more. You need to, it's okay, bro, to yeah. vent, talk. Yeah. To that's find you, solutions, though, because that's really what a therapist right. is. Right. You're going in there to yeah. find a solution. Yeah, 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 Don't yeah. you right. think you're in there talking to somebody about your pussy ass problem? Why, like, why you think going there and find a solution? So you why you think be real with what you really feel into a, a lot of people don't think uh-huh. it's because. No, I was just thinking that the first couple of times I go, I'm going to laugh. They want a hug. I'm going to just see how good they really are. The first couple of times I go to therapy, I'm going to laugh just to see if they're really good as they say they are. I'm not going to tell them the truth. What? And if they fix my fake problems, I give I let them fix uh, my real. If they fix your fake problems, <laughs> <laughs> you tell me, you say, you say, you first couple <laughs> shits that I throw out there are just gonna be hypothetical shit, and I'm gonna act like it's me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't me. What's some what's some what's some, what's some fake news? Forrest Gump. <laughs> you you know, came up with the problem. Move. Now my real problems. <laughs> <laughs> what's some, Hilarious. What would you do if your child was at home crying all alone because he's hungry? <laughs> <laughs> On the bedroom floor. And all the way to feed him, wasn't Give him a little. Let <laughs> me coming through. He knows what to do. That's hilarious. Oh, shit. But I, I, think, I think as men, we need to that a city high find time? ways to <laughs> vent. You are what they solution. say you are. Yeah, facts. We do. Oh, uh, shit. You know it, ain't, it ain't enough. It got to be, we got to have more masculine 
spiritual, like, warrior sessions. When it's like, look, man to man, bro, you all right? Man to man, you you you, you straight right. like being a father. What you do as a father? What you right. do as a father? Right. So we can come you, together. How you really feel? Like how you feel? Yeah, yeah. Like you, you know what I'm saying? I know saying? I'm a good father, cause I'm out here teaching my son shit I don't even know how to do. Uh, oh, son, yeah. when you dunk that motherfucker, you gotta let that rim go. You can't <laughs> just hang on there. <laughs> cause your son tall here. He looking at me like, what the fuck you know about dunking? Nigga, trust me. Yeah. I know it. How you got <laughs> When I was out there, right. shit. <laughs> I see why old niggas lie. You have to. Just <laughs> the motivator. You gotta, these last, what, these ain't last that can hurt nobody. When you hit that ball, yeah. you gotta make sure it go over the face. Hey, son, when you dunk it, <laughs> I ain't never hit no home run. Keep your eye level to the rim. You gotta know just in case it's a nigga up under you, son. You don't want to fucking roll your ankle. Look, look at your foot. My look. foot fucked up now. Look, don't worry about all that. Damn. I'm in my bag. You be oh, telling yeah. your son fake sports injuries? Oh, business. my God. <laughs> oh, I tried to go up for the dunk. Right. Man. Broke both their ACL. Damn. When I tell you the biggest white boy you ever seen in your life, <laughs> undercut hey. me. I flipped four times. Right. Crazy. Land show his knee. Uh huh. The alley coming it like still this. Made the shot. Motherfucker <laughs> undercut me. I caught the ball. Got hung on the rim. Hit the backboard. That's what. That's what. That's what. That's happened. crazy. I used to lie to my nephews when I was coming up. Yeah. I used to make them sit, cause I, it's, it was fun that they used to believe me. Oh, Weird yeah. story, I'd be like, these niggas are dumb as fuck. <laughs> but some of that shit is just imagination as a kid. Yeah. You know what the fuck I am. Oh, man, yeah, I remember one time I had that. And if you don't, you right, they don't. I remember one time I had that told them niggas, I was like, I had that got jumped by eight niggas. Damn. But I told them nigga I was whooping their ass. It was like every time a nigga took me, I was like, get off me, nigga. Yeah, I hit one. Get off me, man. man. All you know my nephews in there like, for real, uh. I was like, yeah. He caught me right here in the back, though. I ain't see that one. Yeah. Then I get to the end of the story. And you I'm know like, what? That I'm makes sense to me. <laughs> <laughs> they probably wanted to believe that shit so bad. Boy, that nigga was like, I can do this every Saturday. <laughs> Don't care. Y'all listen to me. Always get, you're like, damn. Like, we always getting fucked up. That story was giving them hope. It was like, if I ever get jumped. I'm gonna do with and then, you. Don't, don't you me. call me. Don't let <laughs> y'all ain't gonna get jumped. Nigga. Don't <laughs> let the nephews actually see the fight. Like, uh, like. Wow. But see, I started losing them. I had three, but then when I used to give them to sit down, uh -huh. it would be like two. And then I only had one who would want to listen, and I'd be oh, like, man, get your ass on. Right, right. Yeah, I'd be like, nigga, why you still here? He you got like, to mix in some truth with, with the bullshit. It wasn't no truth. I was just lying. All the mystery, fucking time. Mystery mix, right? <laughs> yeah. Sometimes lies can be the, like why the then? fuel that can. Like lead the generation. Like you, you don't want to lie to them just flat out. You want to give them the lies of hope. Um, I just, yeah, I don't. I, you can't give them no big lie, life lie. Right. I just made up some shit and fuck with my little brother and shit. Yeah, yeah. You know buddy. Like, no, you gotta tell them the right kind of lies. Like, hey, you can't yeah, be you can't, whatever you, you want to be. It, 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 it's a lie. You can't yeah. let this shit go on forever. <laughs>
that naturally existed when the universe was about a trillionth of a second old. I found scientists from all over the world. Everybody is working together to get their experiment working. I got to talk to brilliant astrophysicists who collaborated with Brian May, the guitarist from Queen. Listen to the Oh My God Particle Show on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. How Rude Tanneritos is the Full House Rewatch podcast you've been waiting for. Each week, get together with iconic characters Stephanie Tanner and Kimmy Gibbler, also known as actresses Jodie Sweetin and Andrea Barber, as they team up to relive every episode of your favorite Friday night comfort show. We spent our entire childhoods on a little show called Full House, playing frenemies, but becoming besties whenever the cameras weren't rolling. And now, 35 years later, it's our biggest adventure yet. Get ready for Jody and Andrea to tell all as they take an in-depth look back at life in and around the Tanner home from the very, very beginning. So if you think you know everything there is to know about Full House, how rude. We'll be reliving every moment with you. And we'll be joined by our Full House family, including all your favorites from 192 episodes. We'll reveal the hidden treasures you may have missed within the show, and we'll take a trip down memory lane together. Listen to How Rude Tanneritos on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. On the best podcast ever with Raven and Miranda, you'll hear, well, the best podcast ever. Join Raven Simone and her partner Miranda Mayday as they let the wheel of words determine the topic of that week's show. Every episode will spin a wheel of random words from things like animosity to something like Zodiac and whatever it lands on. That's what we're going to talk about for around an hour. Think we can't do it? Well, then you've never heard us talk. Each week, Raven and Miranda and celebrity guests like Demi Lovato, Kiki Palmer, and Megan Trainer will spin the fateful wheel, and then the conversation will begin. Also, we're going to have a ton of amazing guests because you don't want to just hear us two all the time, do you? Yes, you do. <laughs> and somehow we're going to start with something like Spider and end with, well, when was your last nervous breakdown? <laughs> Listen to the best podcast ever with Raven and Miranda on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Hey, man, welcome back to the 85 South Show. Today, we are sponsored by Lemon Pepper Wings Extra Wet. Tay. Yeah. Hey, tell the nigga how I used to make y'all niggas sit down and listen to stories. I used to be lying. Oh, God. Nobody used to lie last time. Lying, man. He's like, nah. Look, look, look. What'd you say? We used to go home and wait. Hey, we used to wait on Fly. We used to be sitting on his bed. I said, we used to be sitting on your bed. Why not you to get home? We're like, they know he got a story to tell us. Oh, my God. I swear to God. Ready. All right, nigga. <laughs> hey, his little nephew was sitting on the bed like, oh, tell us about Ray's Boom Boom Room. I used to be lying. Yeah. Those niggas used to be believing me. That's why I'm a good story to tell us what you call it. That's the, that's I was like, he with me all day. Fuck <laughs> like, up. No wonder they, no wonder you lost them. Damn. No wonder you lost them. <laughs> hey man, that's your partner. <laughs> hey, that nigga was so happy. He was like, you seen him? I was like, I seen him. He told me to tell you something. I was like, what? <laughs> I'm lying. <laughs> and he was like, why would you? And that nigga was like, fuck. Damn. Yeah, and that was him? You told him? You told yeah, him? Oh, damn. You made it. Well, we got to find about that shit, too. Oh, yeah, of course. Of course. Damn, DC. <laughs> These ain't the type of lies that I thought you was telling. Yeah, I thought I'm you like, was yeah, telling kinda, tales, nigga. That was kind of dark. This nigga embellishing the truth. <laughs> I would get myself oh, out of nigga. anything, bro. I would come up with a lie so fast. Yeah, I, I lie know. so much, I believe my own lie. Them not the type of lies you should be telling your nephew. I was telling my nephew yeah. simple lies like, oh, shit. nigga, I have been on Captain Crunch boat. <laughs> you bullshit. I just say all kinds of shit. Yeah, I tell them shit that they want to hear. I'm like, it's real? Shit. It's real. I really do that to get back at my sister because she ain't tell me to the store. Evil. 
Payback. Yeah. Oh, damn. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey, man, y'all got, what's this, the sixth season of The Shack coming out? Come on. Six, bro. Six, man. Hey, man, that's what's up. Come on, man. Thank you, man. Yeah. Stop playing. Black yeah. show. Black show. Six seasons. Yeah, showtime. Black from top to Matter of fact, you know JJ is from, from, from Chicago. Yeah. <laughs> you know I had to. I had to. Oh, yeah, that, yeah. oh they got hair and chicken, but you know JJ come from Chicago. You want some? No, I'm all right. Give me I'm one of them. I want one of them chicken, though. You never know them chicken ones. I was trying to close it. That's why I was open up. You didn't buy it. You didn't buy it. You didn't buy it. I'm going to be on the floor. Oh, why? That, that, that chicken. Oh, yeah, this I shit bust. You, you, can't, you can't eat chicken? <laughs> I love chicken. I love it. He on a diet. He on a king, quinoa diet. <laughs> oh, no, only quinoa. He on a quinoa. I be trying, bro. The butt drink lettuce at 8 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I have to have my asparagus. I'm like, where's my, where's my wellness shot? Where's it at? Swear. Yeah, that wheatgrass get you. That get you right. right on. No, nah, for real. Especially on the, on the shot. Like, they throw them sex scenes at you, man. You want to be, you know, you want to look good. Right. Uh, I do. So we got sex scenes, you know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Tell them motherfuckers that sick, man. that sick car money, boy. That shit, that shit hit. Shit, yeah, it's, it's good. It's good. I, I'm, I'm very blessed. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to hit y'all with that. But how, how does it feel to be on a reoccurring TV show like yeah. Cause shit getting counseling and motherfuckers getting fired left and right, but nah, you like, yeah. you got a job, And the shit good. Yeah, yeah. Not only is it good, he's shooting a long time. This ain't no like two, yeah. three month type project. Like, no nigga, we need our time to shoot this shit. Yeah, yeah. You said eight months out of a year. Yeah. How the hell? Cause we got 16 episodes this year now. You know How long does it take to shoot one episode? Probably like two weeks, but you know eight they do. Eight hour episodes, right? Uh, Y'all hours? Yep. Why one is it so long? I just, I don't know, I just take their time, you know what I mean? It's just, um, it's so, it's so many of us, too. It's wow. like, it's like 14 cast members, no, like, for real. You know, I think principal actors, maybe eight. So it's like, everybody shooting different days. Right, Then right. COVID was a factor, too. You know what I'm saying? People getting tested. Mm. And then, you know, somebody gets sick, they push the schedule back a little bit, then it rearranges it. Somebody who wasn't scheduled for that week come in. Right. Okay. And now, you feel me? And it's so like, you might have a week where you're not shooting. Yeah, okay. so yeah, I might I, I might have a few days off. So, so y'all don't understand, because you was oh, off. That's all. how you were able to shoot house parties. Yeah. Come on, somebody. House parties, Captain. Let's go. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. We, did yeah. Did yeah. Man, we did that. We did that. We did that. Right, did you hear about did you hear about the uh the the young teens that broke into a, a house, a trespass? And tried to do the same shit. No, we ain't. <laughs> No, we ain't inspired that. Mm-hmm. But that's the generation. Though. That shit crazy. Yeah. That, to me, that was, to me, that spoke so much. I'm like, what you get? Whether you feel me, whether people like. Broke through some behind? That, yeah, it's like the trespass. Send so, me a clip. Yeah, it's like a. Uh, it was like a, a post I found. Somebody sent it to me on an IG. IG DM. It was crazy. It was crazy. You got some money? Yeah, you got like some grease, some dry grease in your shit, I'm my boy. Dry ass scat, my boy. Put some water on that lady. shit in the morning, boy. Hell yeah. Put the grease in there. Oh, she put it in there? Oh, she put it in there. fresh with it. It's got to dry. Oh, you got some shit done today? You bullshit. I'm going to tell you something. This is JJ. All oh, they missing is waffles. Waffles. Wow. They get some waffles? Mm. They shut that bit down. Come on with it. That shit look good, though. I, I might. You want some? I ain't going to do it. I ain't going to do it. Let me get a fry. I'm on a fast. Bro, we got plenty of motherfucking chicken, bro. Let me get a fry. I'm on a fast. You fasting? Yeah. Until yeah. like a certain time? Sure, at the day or what? Yeah, I'm, I'm Thank you, fam. 100 days. Appreciate okay. 100 days. Yeah, we I mean, have a piece of that bread. No, no, no. Just energy yeah. wise. Okay. DC, yeah. let me have a piece of that bread. So, energy wise. Mm. I'm, I'm about to start eating right. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be in this shit. I got a lot. I'm going to try to push myself, see if I can do it. How was, uh, how was, um, you went to. Uh, what's the trip you went on to? Me, me you and Rob was in the uh, group chat. Fuck. Um, Damn. You went to the, to, it was like a healing trip. Um, oh, we're talking about Honduras. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. off the chain, but you got to, that seven people. Yeah, and this, yeah, seven And yeah. I say that shit off the chain, bro. You know why it's off the chain and I love it so much? You get to tap in with nature. Mm-hmm. And not only get to tap in with nature, it's just so, everything's so natural. Yeah, yeah. And it's beautiful as fuck. It, oh, my bad. Yeah, yeah. It's beautiful as fuck, and not only that, you're getting the healings for real because everything is clean, bro. Right. You dig what I'm saying? Your uh-huh. food clean. Excuse me, the people around you clean. Just a better environment than being over here. Okay. I'm going to be one home. Yeah. If you want to get your mind right, hey, they want to splash to go. I see, you got that working out. I was mad that I was, I, I was coming home. Yeah. Well, I did like four days. 
I'm talking about, I do about two weeks over there. Yeah, that's the vibe you've been talking about too, but you feel me? Just the village vibes. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Cause yeah. we've been on our journey. Uh -huh. We've been on our journey for a long time. Yeah. So this my nightlife, but. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Me, bro, Timmy, everybody, bro, we, 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 we nightlife. Um, but we, we respect. <laughs> Yeah, we was, we was in that, what, what club was that? I don't know. What, what, that Jamaican club? Man, DC had his shirt off. I said, dog, it's time to go, dog. It's time to go. <laughs> One said, thing about it, I tell you about that. He said, he said, 30 more minutes. 30 more minutes. 30 more minutes. Don't try to blame it on me. Nah, I was like, I was like, man, Jason, don't want to leave the club. Like, I, 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 I said, Jay, it's not, I'm like half responsible to have like, let's go. He like the go. baby brother that's like, look, like he, he tells us the whole look, look guys, you gonna go in here by look, 45 guys. minutes. <laughs> you know me, I'm talking type of nigga that's like, what I don't even want to be in this thing, no way. That's what he's saying, he saying going in. And Ro and them motherfuckers like, I mean, let's do what we gotta do, baby. You know what I'm saying, like, let's let Ro. Ro can kick it, oh, he can Ro kick it. He can kick it, he like, kick it. he like, we deserve it. Yeah, he like, man, we need to step out. We need to promote the movie. Yeah, we out. We house boy. Tossin. Nigga don't know, he a gangster on the low. <laughs> he in the cut, like, yo, bro. Yeah, yeah bro, like, everything's cool, bro. I don't like the clubs like that. I don't really like the clubs so like he that. He got a knife on him. Yeah, he, he, he <laughs> like, he said, yo, bro, y'all good. Hey, I'm matter of like, fact, he, my nigga. he was asleep. In the club. He was asleep. In the club. No, he wasn't he drinking it all. He over there just. Nigga, just wake up. You got ready? <laughs> I'm like, dang, dog. I'm like, you good. And my nigga, man. We had to wake up by like, what, six? Man, when I said that, for that, that was probably like the, the, the most fun I ever had on a press. Swear. with a, Me too. Group of, group so of y'all was shutting shit down. Yeah, it wasn't that we was shutting shit down. How the press run? We were having fun. Probably about, I want to say, about two, probably about two, about two and a half weeks, Man. maybe. We was just yeah, knowing we, that if there's gonna be us there, we'll we'll have each other in the group chat like, yeah. you coming? You coming? Now nah, I'm gonna be there today. Like, all right, baby, baby. So we ain't gonna set up nothing without everybody there, yeah, cause yeah. It, it ain't it ain't fun without everybody. It ain't fun. You know what I'm saying? Fun. We did L.A., Atlanta, yep. New York, New York. Yep. So that was all kind of spread out within we had fun, man. a couple couple weeks. Ago. It was crazy. Oh, we had fun. It's crazy. These my niggas, man. I, I, I you know love me niggas on the movie list. I'm like, hell yeah. <laughs> no, nah, but but but. When Jacob came in, handled his business, it turned the movie up a notch, you dig what I'm saying? And it was just like, that's why the chemistry played out how it played out. And yeah. for it to be on the planes now, four, five months, six months after it, it done came out, a lot of movies don't get exposure right. after that, after a long period. Really? It's like, you know, whoever gets it, gets it. Yeah. But it's like, we on different platforms, and for us to be on a major platform, I feel like we did our thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we did your shit. No, we did your shit. We, um, Bring a bunch of them, please. I looked at the cinema scores, 18 and underscored it at A minus, right? Mm. And then as the age went up, the grade declined. Mm -hmm. You showed me, like, it just show, it's just for the new generation. Right, it's, right. It's so, it's so new. I think it's gonna do better over time, bro. Fast. Imagine, imagine it's gonna do better the elder people at that time when the original House Party came out. They probably said the same thing. They like, we don't want to see this shit. They so used to Andy Griffin. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't that long ago, DC. Man, you crazy as hell. I know my, my daddy. I was there when Andy Griffin was in black and white then when it went to color. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you did? Baby. I seen that, bro. You talking to a nigga. Nigga, I know what these niggas watch. They only watch the tornado chases. <laughs> <laughs> the Braves. Andy Griffin and Sanford's song. Ain't nothing there been played in my household, but. Well, you know Andy Griffin turned into Matt, Matlock. I don't know nothing about him. Stop that to Andy Griffin. Matlock the same motherfucker. Uh. <laughs> uh. What year is that? What year is Matlock? <laughs> and Star Egg, Andy Man, Griffin. Watch the fuck out that shit. <laughs> what, what? Hey, Paul. I used to hate that shit. <laughs> I swear. I got to Hey, Bob, what are we doing? I be like, man, cut this shit off. Oh. I'm down. What year, what year is Andy oh. Griffin? Andy Griffin, man, this nigga good. You got to understand, Andy yeah. Griffin was like the white people Bill Cosby. Yeah. This yeah. nigga yeah. 1940 yeah. all the way. Nah, you I feel like I seen I ain't tapped into it. We got to understand. You got to understand when Andy Griffin was young Andy. Mm -hmm. Not when he got old and he sat down. This was young Andy, probably like good 1930, had a run all the way to like. Not no 1939. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I've seen originals. 1950. He like, I, I know Bro, that's shit. when they started putting the color in. No, color wasn't in the 50s. 1952? 52. You, you sure? When, when? Like you, the white movies. Wow. You sure? Color ain't hit the Andy list. Griffin started in 1950. Let me look at it. Please, to please. I know it was the 1940, huh? When Andy Griffin first started? We both wrong. We both wrong. Damn. 
1960 was in black and white? Y'all about yeah. to argue for no reason. God damn. I thought they had them five weekends. Great Day Colors was like, what, 68, 69, right? Hell no, uh, yeah. Martin Luther King was goddamn marching and shit around that time. <laughs> mm. Come on, Luther King died when? 1960, what? 68, right? Won't nobody watch no goddamn Andy Griffin in 1968. We were trying to figure this shit water. out. Rest in peace, Andy Griffin. He, he, uh, he passed 2012. Hey, RIP OG. 2012. <laughs> Go, Andy Griffin, OG. When he start? 86. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah. so how long? How long the season went? From sixty to what? Mm. What? Oh. That's crazy. The way my daddy watched them bitches, you would throw that shit. Bitch. The shot should go black and white. <laughs> That'd be hard. I just knew that nigga been here. I was like, but we know why all these bitches. Yeah, it's been off too. He did. To what though? Can we just? Powell. He had his own. Can we just him and his grandson? Did yeah, that Goldman Powell shit? That was spin off too, wasn't it? Hmm. I don't know. I just I used to always want to drink milk out that glass container. Why? I felt like it was cold on Andy Griffith show. Crazy. Cause my daddy had Made canned. Look he had canned milk. Dog, no, that's what you talk about. You think the white people refrigerated colder? No, it's just it's when they came TV. and brought yep. the milk, it looked refreshing. Cause my daddy had canned milk, nigga. You ain't never went into a cabinet and got milk. <laughs> Nigga, that's pet milk. He told me to put it in the refrigerator. I said, you want me to get out of the cabinet and put it in the refrigerator and wait on it? <laughs> <laughs> you got pet milk. <laughs> that ain't down there. Hey, man, that nigga can't cook, man. <laughs> I just gave up on my daddy cooking. My daddy could not cook to save his fucking life. Oh, yeah. He's never. Just, when it's over, oh, he it's ain't over. never used real milk. He just had that canned cream. Man, my dad ain't had a company. He would look at me and be like, nigga, you stay with your mama. You ain't even supposed to be here. Fuck you talking about? I ain't even cooking. What's, what's the worst thing he cooked? I mean, my dad had done made some sausages, right? Mm -hmm. I'm talking about he them bitches on the skillet. Yeah. Fried them bitches. I'm talking about he. Nigga, them bitches was so hard, you can wash dishes with them motherfuckers. <laughs> I like, you can't even bite it, you can't break it. And he mad as hell at me. He called me ungrateful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you don't eat an old nigga food, he gonna call you a great. <laughs> what you say? <laughs> that's you saying? I can't eat this. Yeah. I said, Dad, I can't. See, see that's your problem. You don't grateful. You I great. said, hey, I can't. It gonna cut my throat. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna put it in the fridge just you to make it feel better. I'm gonna eat it later. He said, call your mama and tell her to bring some food. That's what he told me. Damn. So he burned up the sausage and got mad at you. He burnt, he burnt the sausage and got mad at me because I didn't want to eat it. And then told me, you see your brother out there? And he a crackhead. He was he, eating the sausage. He like, he eat the sausage. <laughs> <laughs> give, it to, I, give it to him. Give it to him. I'll take, I'll take it to your brother. Hey, I hey. said, boy, hardly. I didn't realize I was supposed to his like that. Okay, man, put the sausage in his pocket. Ain't nothing wrong with the sausage. Ain't nothing Next wrong time you don't with want this. The sausage, man, I'ma you say this for later. Listen, bro. I did not know I was poor until I got older. And then I realized, I said, oh, I was fucked. Oh. <laughs> what you mean? I was fucked up. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about fucked up. That's why you're doing so well now. No definitely. Anything mm -hmm. that I wanted Be okay. or could have, it was so far out of reach. Mm -hmm. You know how you, but always, you always want, but, and I know it wasn't far out of reach, right. but it was just like, you can, it, it was so far out of reach that I never know when it's going to ever be in my hand. Right, 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 right. It was like the new Jordans. I want them, but they'll never be here. <laughs> they never be, they never be right here on my feet. Like, <laughs> I wear, I wear Jordans through you. I wear them in my eyes. I get, I can see. <laughs> but, but they kill it for Jordans. Was it, am I bullshit? Fake clothes. I wore them bitches up the wind till I got my mind right. Right. <laughs> Dang, you couldn't persuade me to wear nothing real. <laughs> Hold on, what type of fake shit though? Cause some fake shit, I ain't gonna lie. I, it I was, should be, it should be all right. I was going. No, everything. When when fake when fake started to have a name that it was fake. You know how fake was like, hey, that's fake. And at the time, nigga was like, nigga, ain't nobody. Who knows? Nobody ever seen nothing real. Get it never. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody ever seen nothing real before. So you not off brand, you fake. No, I was fake. It wasn't just. <laughs> 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 this nigga stupid, man. You got to right, find right, old pictures of him. That ain't... Yeah. Nah, bro. That's the polo. Listen, if I were who I was, you gotta find an old I would've had a hard life. 
<laughs> so you you made it before, right. that's why you, that's it, mm-hmm. right here at the road. Man, no, I, yeah. I, I turned into a, a, a Bro, you had to wear fake yeah, yeah. clothes to practice having the real one. Wipe your lip off. No, you I chicken won't, on your face. I want yeah, fake clothes, clothes bro. Yeah. Yeah. I want fake clothes because I didn't care. I, I grew up knowing that as long as I had thread on my body right. and Just fabric, great. Just great. that's all that matter. Mm-hmm. Right. And if I know, I didn't, I didn't really yeah, have what turn was into fake. therapy. Uh-huh. Oh, right. real. Real, quick. real quick. So if I saw a nigga wear F01 for $50 <laughs> in my head, I'm like, they got to be real, bro. He, or he'll get Can't be real. Up. That ain't but $25 yeah. a foot. $25 a foot, but you got a, a, a certain amount of time to wear them before they look like $25 a foot. Gotcha. No, no, I, I know the fake purchase rationalization. <laughs> you be like, man, I'm going to have them on my feet. You got to go light. Moving. So what was, what was the first moving. You got to go real really light. Moving. I remember mean, one time I took off running to slow down because my shoe fake. I was like, oh, hold tight. You thought it wasn't going to be like that. Don't make no running shit. <laughs> what was the first, what was the first, like, real, like, when you was like, everything's been fake, but now I'm about to buy something. 10th grade, 10th grade Christmas. When I when I caught me uh, caught a little money, probably had, I got about like fourteen hundred. Yeah. I changed my whole wardrobe. I said, "Oh, these they got me fucked up." I went to Macy's. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Like, like shoes, like, hey, this ain't matching. We don't sell to you. We don't sell to you, sir. <laughs> nigga, put them in the bag. We don't sell to you. He said, my ass shoes that, I mean, that won't paint their shoes out of here. We don't have a sticker. <laughs> How much will you pay for? <laughs> they had you the price. <laughs> bro. Listen, bro. I think I thank my parents for, for raising me like that though, bro. Cause I'm not frivolous when it comes to this shit. Bro. Yeah, buddy. What? I'm tight. Tight. But I do oh, get a lot of shit that I don't wear. Put it like that. I'm traumatized, yeah. but I'm smart. Right. Cause I still buy a lot of shit and then don't wear it for that exact reason. Cause you're like, yeah, nigga, I got right. all the it. shoes, but nigga, I never fucking wear them. You just got them in there. I just don't. I go wear some other shit every day, but don't wear the shoes because I don't want to mess them up or do nothing. You ever sold a collection or anything like that? Like, I gave away Gucci when they, they did that bullshit. Oh, damn. And I was mad, too. But I gave it all up. All up, all up. All up. Oh, all up. Damn. Can't wear Burberry either. Mm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I just wear all black on shit. I fuck around with Lil' Air Blue Moon just because I'm on that, right, right. that wave of saying, man, I, I'd rather just wear your shit. You yeah. feel me? Because yeah, yeah. I don't know Lil' like that. Them niggas don't be coming over here putting shit in our community. Right, right. We keep buying all this shit, and them niggas over there talking something. We don't really want the niggas in our shit, but we'll take their money. <laughs> That's why I just wear 80. <laughs> they let us design. That's why I just wear 80. They, got, they, they, they let us design yeah. shit yeah, so I mean, they can keep our face in our black dollars. Yeah. It's smart, bro. Because there's a lot of great black designers out there and black owned companies. Yeah. And we can, we can buy that shit too. And that's something we did. That's something we did with the shot last season. We did that. What? Uh, a lot of black? They basically just um, accepted any like black designers from Chicago and just that's fire. send the emails in. So that's a lot fire. of the stuff we was wearing was kind of just mixed in with like maybe a high end and like, there might be some independent, you know, shirt. Yeah, we need to send y'all some shit up. Yeah, yeah. Facts. Facts. That's gonna be a lot. We need that. So what was what were you oh, saying? We got Yo, you some shit right here. We got some more shit. What was your most exciting scene in the shot? What's that? We got you some 85 oh, South shit. We, okay, I'm getting up. Yeah, I'm getting up. Ain't this on the South Side? Yep, uh-huh. So we, I don't we, know, we maybe that. you could we wear 85 that. South for this fuck. Hey, pop your shit. Oh, it is black on. It is. Five. See? Yeah. Oh, and it's the bull. Yeah. It's oh, we knew what we were doing. Oh. Somebody put the package in there. Yeah, we did. White and right. Love it. I'm going there and going pop your shit in the shot with the 85 South one, fuck on. It's crazy. No cap. This would be vibe. Oh, we ain't tripping. They gonna love this. We gonna, I'ma love this. Mm-hmm. Tell them we're, we're, we're clear. Yeah. We ain't yeah. calling that. I swear. Just seen the paperwork. Clear! All red. Yeah, we'll send you all. Verbal, clear! Yeah. Send you all kind of shit. You see, we got our black yeah. mannequins over here with our new track suits and shit. Oh, that's a vibe. Fact. I like the black and white vibes too. I gotta get that. <laughs> yeah, I need some of that. What was your most exciting scene that you shot on the shot? Exciting? Yeah, nigga. Uh. You look like you about to say something nasty. Yeah. Hi, well. He um, said he liked them love scenes. I know. Uh, uh, he over here drinking ginger shots and I shit. Gotta, I gotta be ready. Most <laughs> fun. Um, <laughs> man, I got to get in shape so she can grind on me with them panties on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. That's tough. That's tough. We, 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 got, we got so many memories at this point. We like, on the sixth season, let me see. Uh, I think my most exciting Scenes probably come from that very first season, mm-hmm. just because it was just new. Right. We just like, it was just some, we didn't know where it was going to go. So maybe, maybe the scene actually holding the baby. Mm. That was, that was kind of nerve wracking. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because he was, he was crying, like mm. heavy, like hard. You know what I'm saying? And it was like, he wanted his real dad. Set. Ain't nothing you know wrong with I mean? that, ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't you feel me? I, I, I feel that, you know what I'm right. saying? I'm like, right. I'm trying to memorize my lines. I got my shirt off, it's, I'm kind of in the middle of a, I did a sex scene that day as well, and I'm like, so it's kind of really uncomfortable mean, because you really like want the baby to be comfortable. Yeah. And you like, I'm trying to act, but please right. come get your but baby. It was exactly how I needed to feel. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was exactly, I needed to feel overwhelmed. I needed to be a, I needed to be a young father, like, mm-hmm. can't teach it. You know what I'm right, saying? You right. gotta go through it. So I think that and was... you ain't got no kid. Nuh-uh. So you frustrated for real. Yeah, I'm like, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I ain't here. Like, what's up, man? Like, yeah, ain't nothing working. Old, right? We're like, ah! <laughs> and then, but as they as they getting older, though, it's crazy. They like, they ready to come to work. They ready. They Hold like, up, you talking about the babies? Yeah, they, they older. Hold now. up, so the baby grew with y'all, too? Yeah, we got, we got the That's same... That's the same baby? Yeah, it's, it's, they hired twins. Mm-hmm. They always hired so twins. So they was babies? They was babies. Yeah. And the babies done grew. For so long. The babies done grew. So y'all want some Saved by the Bell shit? Yeah, we we going crazy. Yeah. So the same baby you was holding, he four now. Yeah. And he talking. Talking. Walking. Him and his brother. <laughs> yep. I gotta get my Dylan, daughter Dylan, Dylan and Dylan. Some shit. 
Man, you really done raised some TV babies, man. I swear. That's she dope. trying to put my baby they, in the They, they run up on me, they like, yo, what's up, man? I'll be like, it's crazy, it's crazy to see him grow. And then, you know, I'm growing, I'm still growing. So Look at like, you, uh, 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 Uncle Joe, uh, Uncle Joe, Uncle Joe. Look at you, You feel me? It's lit, it's lit, man. We so what else, you got, what else you got coming out, man? I'm gonna drop some new music, man. I'm gonna I'm I'm throw it out there a little bit. Um, but honestly, we, we still got a lot more episodes to film. We on, we on strike right now. Mm -hmm. um, we staying with them, man. We staying with y'all. Yeah, it's, it's love. Yeah. It's love. It's strike? I'm, is everybody striking? Well, I, guess. I mean, the writer, the writer did already striking, but I believe y'all yeah. went ahead and, and pulled it just to show solidarity. You striking with the motherfuckers? I mean, it's just, just I'm well, with the well, union. The, the, Hell, you the, the actors about the strike. You with the union? The actors get about the strike. Say Let me tell you something. But it's, um, yeah, we, uh, we got, we got, it's, it's gonna all work out. It's gonna all work out. We got eight more, eight more to fill. You know what I'm saying? Who your insurance do? <laughs> he don't even know. I'm paying out of pocket. That won't run day. Hey, it's all good, man. It's um, it's a blessing though. I think, I think with the big thing I'm realizing, we in a big shift in in the industry. Like I think that's always been been cool. I've been always a part of like a. I feel like when I was coming up, it was YouTube. Right, it was, right. Now it's TikTok and. It used to be cool to be mystique before social media. Now right. people want to know all your business. You right. know what I'm saying? Like now we in the we in the industry changing, man. It's a good it's a good feeling. And we still young, still yeah. going, we still prospering, man. I swear. I was as a big brother. I'm I'm proud of you. Thank you, man. And not only am I proud of you, just seeing how long and how far you came and actually see it. Thank you, bro. You know, you know, I, I can sit here and say I was there. Yeah. yeah. You know, through in the beginnings. You know, yeah. we probably ventured off and did some other shit, yep. but when we came back together, it was like, nigga, you still energy. doing this shit? Same energy. You feel me? Yep. Going from the skating ring to be writing the same sure. movies to going on billboards and touring. Just to say, man, listen, man, I'm proud of you. Man, I'm proud of you too. Keep bro. going, brother. Man, you Keep going. You Love doing you. house party, man. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm talking about DC busting out scenes and then be like, I gotta go. And then I look on, on socials, he performing in front of arenas, dog. That shit I appreciate was, it. That shit was incredible. Hey, man, yeah, drop your social media yeah. so they can catch up with you. Follow me, man, at Jacob Lattimore on everything. Yes, on sir. everything. Fuck at you talking J about? J-A-C-O-B. Yeah. L-A-T. Yeah. I ain't about to do it. I ain't about to oh, do it. Oh, you ain't about to do it. I ain't about to do it. I ain't about to do it. L-A-T. L-A-T. Yeah. I. Uh-huh. M-O-R-E. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. And that's it. That's yeah. all I'm getting. Hey, man. Much <laughs> love and success. Big love. Thank y'all, man. Always. Man. Just I'm in the trap for real. Okay. You ain't in the trap, though. I can't with my cardigan on. We out of here. With the cardigan on. Let's get a flick, man. For sure, for sure. Thank y'all for... I'm Diosa. And I'm Mala. We are the creators and hosts of Locatora Radio, a radiophonic novella. Which is just a fancy way of saying a, a podcast. podcast. We're two L.A. locals turned full-time podcasters, and we talk about everything. From sexual wellness to pop culture. Internet drama to politics. And everything in between. So if laughter and learning are something that you crave, subscribe to Locatora Radio, your prima's favorite podcast. Listen to Locatora Radio on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcast welcome to the good stuff i'm jacob schick a third generation combat marine and i'm his co-host and wife ashley schick we believe everyone has a story to tell not only about the peaks but the valleys they've been through to get them to where they are today we're joined by some amazing guests who share the lessons they've learned that shaped who they are and what they're doing to pay it forward and give back listen to the good stuff on the iHeartRadio app apple podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts From iHeart Podcasts and Nomadic Engine, the acclaimed dramatic thriller returns. Aftershock, season two. He's like a ghost. We had an agreement to keep each other's secrets. None of you are making decisions to keep the rest of us safe, which leaves me. I'm asking for your forgiveness. Aftershock, season two. Starring Sarah Wayne Callies, David Harbour, and Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Listen to Aftershock on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. This is the story of a man who's fascinated me. His name was Sweet Daddy Grace, and that's a name you don't forget. He was a visionary who built a fortune as a black man during Jim Crow, during the Depression. But today, not many people know about him. Erased, sort of wiped out, and I wonder if this was done intentionally. Listen to Sweet Daddy Grace on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts.
The true crime podcast, Sacred Scandal, returns for a second season to investigate alleged sexual abuse at Mexico's La Luz del Mundo megachurch. Journalist Robert Garza explores survivor stories of pure evil experiences at the hands of a self-proclaimed apostle who is now behind bars. I remember as a little girl being groomed to be his concubine. That's how I was raised. It is not wrong if you take your clothes off for the apostle. Listen to Sacred Scandal on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts.